What's up everybody, ODC here, and I am back with another video. Uh, today's video is just kind of fly by the seat of my pants here. I'm going to shoot from the hip, and uh, we're just going to kind of go through some uh, customs. Rich, how's it going, buddy? Uh, we're going to go through some customs. Let me clean off. I don't know why this looks so fuzzy. Fuzzy wuzzy. There we go. Let me fix my lighting here. There we go. It's a little bit better with resolution. Uh, I am at the uh, the, the uh, beck and call of uh, shitty Comporium right now. But uh, <laughs> today, Woodman, how's it going? I'll kind of wait for everyone to trickle in. This way I can say hello to everybody. Brandy Anderson, how's it going? Um, we're gonna be do, I'm just going to be kind of rifling through some customs I've been working on within the last, I want to say, two months. Um, some stuff that I, I was going to do a video on, but I just, I'm not, I don't think I'm, I don't know if I'm going to have the time to go through it. And some builds that I already had previously put together. Uh, and I just want to kind of just, show you guys just give you guys kind of like a, a custom update of uh, some ideas that maybe you could use um, or if you have some ideas that I could use for a future custom or something like that um, or ideas that I could use to progress my custom but uh, I'm just kind of showing you guys what I've, I've kind of done the last like two months because I know I there's been a lack of content and such but um, uh, uh, Dragon Sleeper, how's it going? And uh, no, this is going to be kind of a, a just a three and three quarter inch um, video. Uh, so I I do have a couple Mythic Legions that I have picked up as far as Mythic Legions do go, but um, I I, pr I promise uh, or I don't I don't want to say I promise, but uh, I do have in the works a uh, review that's about half done. So there should be a Mythic Legions review up. Uh, I want to say within the next week. So I'm still working, uh, I'm still editing uh, all of that, but uh, yeah, there will be Mythic Legions content soon. Uh, what do I look like? I look like a person. Um, Zorpox, how's it going? Holland Bricks, Gaz, hello. Uh, Woodman, hello. Brenda, hey, how's it going? Dem Guts, what's up? Do I watch sports? Yes, I watch football, hockey, baseball. You name it, I'll watch it. Except for, you know, like I gotta watch like rodeos or <laughs> anything like that. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't watch NASCAR or anything like that. I'm not really into NASCAR. I know some people are, but, uh, okay. So anyway, keeping on task here, cause I'm going way off. Uh, we got, uh, we got my little lady, my, uh, sorry, she's got a, um, oh, yeah, that's the crux of having four dogs, uh, dog hair everywhere. Um, but there's Slither. She's a, she's a custom figure I made. Uh, she's nothing too special. I'm still working on some concepts with her, uh, as far as what I could, you know, progress her. Uh, to look a little bit more unique instead of just being kind of uh, red and black, which is bleh. Um, but that's Slither, in case you're wondering who the hell that is. And uh, I kind of wanted to show off this custom uh, Cobra Throne that I picked up for 16 bucks uh, on the Evil Bay. It's not, as you can see, over here, I'm going to get my pointer. Over here, it's not the best painted, but uh, I did not paint this. I bought this, and then I was, you know, for sixteen bucks though. I mean, this is this is three D printed and then painted. So uh, he must have just used some gloss paint, and then not uh, whoever did this. Uh, I don't know personally. I would have taped all this off and spray painted it, and it probably would have came out a lot better and laid it down flat. But it looks like he used like I don't know a paintbrush or something. It's a little drippy, but it was only sixteen bucks, so I, you know whatever uh but uh so there's the cobra throne room and that's slither uh okay so like i said uh there's some customs uh action figure expert how's it going buddy hello 
Uh, what teams, Brandy or Br- Brady? Sorry, Brady. So did I call you Brandy? My God, it's like my I'm, my dyslexia just kicked in. Uh, I am from Buffalo, so I'm a Buffalo Bills fan. So uh, originally, now I live in South Carolina, but I am I, w- I lived in Buffalo thirty six years of my life. So I just moved down to South Carolina, but I am a Bills fan through and through. Through the through the worst times, which is was until about two years ago when we made the playoffs for the first time in what tw- almost, what nineteen years, <laughs> and through the best times. So I, I've seen it all. I've seen all four of the Buffalo Bills Super Bowl losses uh, <laughs> consecutive. But uh, uh, I think the Bills have the strongest team to take the division. Sorry, Pox. Um, Right now, I mean, who knows if we'll even get a season this year. Uh, I, my my bet would be, my immediate thought would be, yes, there will be a season because none of these rich owners want to lose any more money, and they've already lost. So I would assume, and the NFL doesn't want to lose money. So, uh, Who's my favorite baseball team? Uh, it's the Cincinnati Reds. But yeah, I think the Bills are the, have the best uh, chance to win. I think Josh Allen's going to step up this year, even more so than he did last uh, last year. But uh, okay, so some quick customs. I'm just going to back my camera up really quick so I have room, and we'll keep slither in the background because why not, right? Yes, that's a a jar. If you're wondering why, why the hell does he have a jar? It's to hold my camera up. <laughs> Uh, any way any way possible right so i do have a a couple or i want to see let me see who do i have i have one original new cobra character that i created and we'll get to him in a minute but i kind of want to show you guys some of the quick just a quick little custom that i did now until we get a green suited body this is going to be my joel colton until then um, but, uh, here is my Joel Colton right now. And, uh, I think it looks pretty good. It's just simple, uh, head swap. It's an extra head I had lying around. So, uh, but, uh, this is going to be my Joel Colton for now. Uh, until, like I said, until we get a green suited body from somebody. Um, but, uh, I think it, it looks pretty good. The beret's a little crooked on his head, but I can fix that. No big deal. Um, but uh, I think that looks a little bit more Joe Colton than, uh, you know, Bruce Willis. And that fugly ass face that we got from Retaliation, so. Um, uh, you got the new Joy Toy figures? I am jealous. Uh, I actually just made a, because I got sick of waiting for Big Bad Toy Store to unfuck itself. I decided to uh, purchase from Locker Toys a couple of the set so uh i do have a couple of those i'm actually the i actually wanted to do a two for video tonight and i was going to do a review of the pla three pack uh, because i i adore that three pack so much it's just damn that quality is so good uh one of my favorite sets to be honest with you but um i can't wait to do that and uh give you the whole thing about that but, uh, yeah, the Marauders, uh, Eric T., uh, Marauders should be restocking July or August. Uh, yeah, Locker Toys is definitely cheaper. I think it cost me, with shipping included, I think it was like three-day shipping. It cost an extra 10 bucks. Totally worth it, by the way. Um, I think it came out to, like, what was it? I think it was... For one of the sets, it was about 56 bucks before shipping. So about 66 bucks. You're still saving a ton of money. So, all right. So there's Joe Colton. We'll put him in the back. Uh, like I said, this is just going to be a, a bunch of quick customs that I kind of just tossed together. And some of them are just kit bashes, really. Uh, like this guy, the, the uh, Gyro Viper, the pilot of the Cobra Mamba. And underneath the head, we do have a purple face. You can unplug that. Um, if you want to know the recipe for any of these, let me know. Uh, but this is simply just a Marauders Task Force purple head underneath. Uh, and then it's got the Rise of Cobra um, 
red helmet from the Firefly uh, cover gunship figure uh, with the lift ticket body from Retaliation that came with the Eagle Hawk, a.k.a. the Tomahawk. I'm not going to call it the Eagle Hawk. It's the Tomahawk. Uh, and the vest is also from the same Firefly figure. So, uh, but it looks great. I, I might, uh, I might, uh, it's, it's, I don't think this figure really needs to be convoluted, nor does it need to be really uh, done up with the, you know, the old school map on the leg. I mean, there's a, there's actually a space for it with this, if you use this body, but, um, I don't know. He's just a pilot and, and he doesn't really need a whole lot to be honest with you. So, um, my, my nose is whistling. It sounds like a choo-choo train. So if I can get him back, no, he's just not going to do that. Okay, great. My nose has been like really dry lately. I don't know what's going on. But it's been quite actually dry down south. There's There was some rain for about a week. This guy just does not want to stay on that peg. All right. If I touch him, he'll fall over. Pollen is brutal. I, we already got through the pollen part. And I my throat got really jacked up because I'm not used to that much pollen because I'm from up north. Um... But the pollen just destroyed me. I, I got tonsillitis from it. So I was out of commission for a while. Um, but yeah. I, you know what? Climate changes don't bother me usually, hollow bricks. But um, because I, what was it? I went to Colorado and that's, that's high altitude up there. And then I went mountain climbing like three days in a row. And I had no issues at all uh, with altitude sickness or anything like that. I was, I was drinking, you know. Having a good time, but um, uh, the next one is actually a uh, Marauders Task Force build. This is all their build, all their recipe except for the gun, and I swapped the head with a all white balaclava. I I'm still kind of considering either making this one of the Sweet Sixteen, or uh, just making this maybe Frostbite or um, an another Arctic Joe figure since I don't have. Uh, I did make that frostbite, what was it, uh, I want to say about a couple years ago, a custom frostbite, but it was okay. It was still on a, a Joe body. It looked kind of bland, So, and this looks a lot better. So if I were to use a updated kind of Pursuit of Cobra-esque frostbite, I would go this route with it. I think it looks a lot better like this. Um, let me disconnect his hand so you can see what he's working with here. And that wrist is going to bother me. But this is all a, uh, a geared up Marauder Task Force build. We don't get a whole lot of um, Arctic uh, characters, really. But uh, he's got a sniper rifle on the back. He's got some pouches on his backpack. Uh, but I really like this build. It, it's simplistic. It, it looks different. Um, it looks really good. I'm really pleased with this. I like the thermal scope with that. That was actually, uh, this didn't come with the figure. I think I actually gave him that. So, I don't know. If I was in the Arctic, I'd want a thermal scope. <laughs> Where is their heat? I'm freezing my ass off. <laughs> um, but I think it looks pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with it. And uh, good on uh, Marauder's Task Force. We'll put him on right there. Uh, but yeah, if you guys, like I said, if you guys want any recipes, just let me know. Just say, hey, what's that recipe? And I will let you know. Next one is, uh, it was just kind of, you know, he's one of my favorite Cobra villains. Uh, he didn't get much love after the murdering spree he went on, uh, killing four Joes. Well, he technically killed, I think, what, two or three? And then he got credit for two more. Um, but uh, here's my updated... Uh, kind of saw viper i'm not necessarily done with this uh with this uh figure um i wanted to add a couple little more things and then some paint detail to them um, so this is still kind of a work in progress but uh i, I see a lot of saw vipers being made and no one's giving them a saw they they keep giving them like a a repeater gun and it's like or a steadicam gun and i'm like no he's not a 
steady cam gunner gunner he's a saw viper he's the you know <laughs> so i don't know uh but i just used the old ripcord head because it looked like i don't know for some reason the ripcord head looks a little bit more menacing because he's got that kind of why am i not focusing here okay we're just gonna not do that uh, but the ripcord face looks a little bit more pissed off than uh, just a balaclava head so that's all it is it's a ripcord head that i had extra lying around um, and I, per personally, I prefer the uh, ripcord to af actually be black and not just a generic white, white dude in fatigues. So my ripcord is black. He's not a white dude. Um, so I just repurposed the head. I went with this. Um, and the helmet is actually from the DTC Saw Viper. So... If you're wondering where can I get that helmet, it's not, you don't have to spend a uh, $100 or $50 to go get a, <laughs> uh, you know, the Jocon one, and you don't have to spend, what was it, I even think the 50th anniversary one's going for like 30 or 40 bucks. Just don't spend that, just get the DTC one and reuse the helmet if you want, or just try to find the helmet by itself. But that's my Saw Viper, he's pretty simple, I, I gave him the, uh, the, next, the backpack, this backpack's actually from uh the rise of cobra uh i want to say it's rise of cobra neo viper but uh pretty simplistic i just you know whatever but uh there's the saw viper actually i should switch these two got baddies on one side goodies on the other so we'll do that there's mr saw viper over there Oh, you're going to stay on your stand, bud. There we go. Uh, I'm going to have to back up a little bit more. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I'll stand that up a little bit better. Make sure my camera doesn't fall the hell over. <laughs> um, so there is those. All right. So next, who should I, who should I bring out next? All right. So I don't have any version of this character. Um, I don't have the previous one. Um, I plan on doing a review on him. Uh, this is just a G.I. Joe figure, uh, but I just kind of wanted to just give an update. I did pick up, and I got this guy for a really good deal. Uh, I picked up Lieutenant Clay Moore. Um, now, I know there's other iterations of him just being like a janitor, but uh, I'm going to scrap that. That's just horseshit. I feel like the guy looks like he's a commander. He's a commander of the shock troopers. And uh, I think I'm going to go with that. I think I'm going to have him team up with uh, Alley Viper and uh, have those two work together. But uh, expect a review on him. Like I said, I got him really cheap for an FSS figure. Uh, he does have that kind of... <laughs> um, uh, what do you call it? Um, Bill Cosby looking face. Um, but uh, expect a review on him, so we'll just put him aside, put him on the Cobra side, over there. Over here, down here, over here. Down here, over here, down here, over here. Over here, down here, don't you know. Uh, okay, so I think that's all of the custom, or the, you know, kind of kit bashy style customs, and there's one Joe figure. Um, all right, so next up, uh, this is a quick little custom that you can do kit bashy custom we got the cobra claws commander here and i was like you know what that, that looks like a, a simple design um it's it's pretty easy you can actually you can actually now this is from the uh i want to say gi joe versus cobra slash venom versus valor line um that uh, new sculpt era which gets dissed a lot, but there's a lot of good quality figures, I think. You know, they're, I mean, they're, while they're lacking in some sort of, uh, some ways in articulation uh, and uh, range of motion here and there, um, a lot of this new Sculpt Era stuff can work with your modern figures. Like this helmet right here is removable, and you can use it on a modern figure. It will fit on a modern figure's head. Uh, there's enough clearance and enough room. I was actually thinking about repurposing it and using it for the custom that I'm about to show you. Um, but the other helmet was just so simple to find. I'm still kind of weighing whether I want to use that helmet because it is kind of unique to the character. 
and I think it might actually look better on the head, and I'll show you what it looks like on the head. So this is not a completed product either. Um, I do have to also paint some lines on his arms and such, but here is the modern version. Now, the, the body's just from Marauder Task Force. The belt is a modern um, tactical belt from Marauder Task Force, and then I threw in a World War II uh, gun holster with a World War II gun, and then I gave him actually the original uh, knife and it looks like a submachine gun that he actually came with. It's like a futuristic looking submachine gun. So I went uh, the simplistic route with that. And like I said, here, I'll show you. I just used the old doctor kind of mut mutilated face on there. But if I put this on his head, it does fit. And I think I might have to do a little bit more customizing because the more and more I, I put this on his head, the more I like it as far as that's concerned. And then what I might do is I might cut this bottom portion off of this helmet and then glue it to his face and then it should line up. I might have to do a little bit more trimming around the eye hole area, but uh, it should fit around his mouth. Uh, and then that'll, that'll be that as far as the Cobra Claws Commander. Um, so looks pretty cool. He's not Cobra Commander, but he's the Cobra Claws Commander. <laughs> um, but uh, I think it looks pretty good either way. You know, I mean, either route you want to go, that's kind of why I showed this just to kind of give you guys a heads up. If you want to do a simple one, you can go this route. Um, uh, the body cost me about, what was this, $11.99 for the body. Uh, I did swap the hands with just regular black hands. You'll have to do that um, because I think he comes with just regular skin colored hands but this is a world war ii body uh for the german soldiers and then uh like i said the hands were replaced uh i got the belt with the little pockets and everything on there so it's like i said simplistic in design simplistic in thought process nothing too crazy here you're not going uh like I said, he's still an unfinished product. I'd like to put maybe a uh, Cobra Zigil or Insignia somewhere on him just to kind of liven him up a little bit, uh, maybe on the shoulder. Uh, but I do have to kind of paint the black lines. Uh, I don't know. If I get really, really um, ambitious, I might actually get some Sculpty and try and do that. But the, really the only thing he's missing are these gold plates on the side of his arms and I'm okay with those not being there so there's the Cobra Claws commander we'll put him over there and we'll just scoot him right there uh, next up we have another one and let me just see if anybody wants to know I'm pretty sure I've given all the recipes so far okay you guys are just uh, okay talking lunch yourselves that's fine uh, retaliation Cobra Commander head of the Crimson Guards. Yeah, that makes sense, Rich. Uh, I'm still waiting for Gaz. I'm still waiting for the uh, Joy Toy uh, release of their, I quote, their Cover Girl because really they are coming out with a, a figure that looks just like Cover Girl. So I'm just waiting for that one to come out because it looks friggin amazing um there's i don't think they've actually shown it for an official release but if you look at some of the old prototype figures sh there's a figure in there that looks just like cover girl even has the same jacket same paint deco everything same type of hair every all that um but um i'm waiting for that one because uh i feel like there still hasn't been a definitive cover, cover girl that's come out um that was released as a regular release like the, the the fss figure was blah i don't know it just didn't look right to me and i don't think it's all that special um especially comparing what you can do with your you know your own custom ideas uh but uh you know i just we haven't really got a good cover girl we got the one from rise of cobra that's that's like the stand-in for me right now um and it's our it's an okay figure um it's something too special but anyway moving on i think we got our we only have we have two more baddies and then two goody goodies 
left as far as the the customs for today. Um, but so okay. Anyway, I'm going off on a tangent here, so I apologize. But uh, what rifle from on Frostbite? Uh, that's just a Marauder's Task Force rifle. Uh, it's I want to say it's a PSG technically. Well, this is with this uh, magazine in there. It's uh, technically a not a nine mil, but you can. It's it is technically a PSG, uh, which is a nine mil fed AR style short gun, kind of M four ish. Uh, but it looks good. I, th I think it works. So. You can get it at Marauders if you want, uh, and I think if you buy the if you buy this from Marauders, it comes with a regular magazine right here, uh, with five five six ammo uh, magazine, or it comes with the nine mil magazines. So either way. Uh, but next, okay, so next up we're gonna do a we're gonna go to Battle Action Force, and uh, this is another quick easy little custom that you can do for yourself. I do have the insignias, but they are, um, um, I, for some reason I misplaced them and I'm still looking for where the heck I put them, but I have all of these nice, um, uh, red shadows, uh, insignias, but I just haven't been able to put them on. Um, and like I said, this is a simple custom. It's black major and, um, this is the defective, um, SAS officer and uh he became a baddie became a pretty pretty cool badass he actually shows up in the idw comics too which i thought was pretty cool that they decided to do that um but uh let me see if i can bring him up close and we'll try and focus here there we go uh, but uh this is a pretty simple custom and uh as we've seen marauder task force releasing some red shadow figures the uh, Sabre Rojas, which I thought is pretty funny. Let's try and focus your camera. Um, we're not going to do that. Okay, come on. Anyway, but uh, this is Black Major. He looks pretty cool. Pretty pleased with how he turned out. I just gave him an AK. This is more on his classic look. Uh, I do have a modern design look um, coming for him, but it's, it's still a work in progress. But if you want a quick little Marauder Task Force style, I just went with the World War II belt. The World War II body with um, black um, gloves. Um, the hat. Now, there's two different versions of this hat. There is this hat, and then there's this hat right here that you can go with. Um, this hat sits a little bit larger because it's from the World War II figures. So if you try to put it on a Joe head, it's going to wobble around and it's going to fall right off. Um but if you use a World War II head, you should be golden. It'll sit right on those heads. Uh, I used a World War II face sculpt. Um, this is the older hats that they came out with in the Contract Ops uh, Kickstarter wave. And uh, everything else is World War II except for that holster right there. The extra magazine uh, I purchased with the gun, or with the uh, AK. And it's that's pretty much it. I mean, I didn't even buy extra pouches for the back because he doesn't really have it with his classic design. Unfortunately, I don't have the classic figure. I would like to... Uh, I, w I was going to actually do a full review on the retro one and then my custom, but uh, I don't have the retro one. And for some reason, the retro one goes for like 40 bucks, and I'm not spending $40 on a uh, retro figure, so... I'll pass on that, and we'll just do this quick little video right here. <laughs> so there we go. That's the last baddie, and we'll put him. We'll put him. Where are we gonna put him? We'll put him right there, right next to her, slither. Um, oh no, that's not the last baddie. I'm sorry. Actually, we'll get to that last guy. We'll do some goodies because we're all we're a little bit off here with our bad guys and good guys. We got so many bad guys over here. All right, so so we have two goodies here. Two goody goodies. Uh, and let's see, which one am I more proud of? I don't know. They're both pretty cool. Uh, both are pretty simplistic. Uh, I want to say about 90% of these are just, you know, Marauders Task Force stuff, some G.I. Joe stuff, and a custom piece 
Uh, even the Marauders, uh, the, or the head is from G.I. Joe. Uh, but um, here's my hard top. Uh, like I said, simplistic. I went for the classic design, not a Pursuit of Cobra update. Um, but uh, I think it, it works for him. And uh, I finally have a hard top, and I'm, I think this kicks the shit out of the FSS hard top, which was really plain Jane, kind of boring. And uh, I think this is much better. I actually made him a little tool belt. Uh, I know the, the, the tools are a little bit large for him. But, uh, you know, use your imagination. Uh, <laughs> uh, I gave him this wrench, which was a leftover extra wrench that I had from the Zombie Lab figures. So that, if you're wondering where the hell that wrench is from, that's where it's from. Uh, I gave him just a pistol, a knife, which is what he had in his original design. Pouches, pouches. I gave him a little bit of a mixture of pouches. I gave him a red a holster and a red pouch on this side. The original, I want to say the FSS figure had some red right here and on the, the straps, but I like the light blue a little bit better, so I just gave him a little bit of red on each side of his leg. Um, but the helmet is probably where you're like, what the hell? Um, and if you're wondering where these are from, these are just from the uh, Cobra um, Engineer Trooper. I can't, what the hell is his name? I can't remember. My brain is just farting right now. I gave him a little NASA sticker because sticker, I thought that was funny. Um, <laughs> but um, anyway, um, he's all decked out. He's got his, uh, his tool belt and everything. Uh, the helmet. Now, the helmet, I tried to find where I bought this helmet from. I, I bought this helmet probably about two years ago. Um, and it was a custom Rotocast build. Uh, I bought it off eBay. I can't remember the name of the seller, so I apologize, but I'm sure if you look up uh, G.I. Joe uh, Toll Booth or Hard Top Helmet or just Toll Booth Helmet, you could find it. Um, if he's still selling them, I don't know. I had to personally ask him to make me just a white roto, uh, uh, not rotocast, I don't know why I'm saying rotocast, just a white cast for this. Um, but it was just a customizer that was on happened to be on eBay and I saw the auction and I bought, uh, I bought it. So, um, now when I got it, it was all filled in. It is removable. I did have to Dremel it all out. And then I took a white Marauders task force, um, microphone simplistic and I glued it to the side of the helmet. Um, so there you go. The head is from retaliation lift ticket. And, uh, that's pretty much it. Everything else is Marauders Task Force stuff. And like I said, simplistic design, sometimes simple things are the best to go with. But uh, I know his figure stand says skydive, but it's just an extra one. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool. I I'm pretty, pretty fun. Pre uh, pretty fun? I'm pretty happy with it. Pretty fun. What the hell does that mean? I don't know. Um, but so there is, we'll just move him aside. We'll keep him out because everybody has more questions about the build or anything like that. Like I said, simple build, easy. Uh, we'll put, I'll put, uh, frostbite in the back, but, uh, okay. I mean, you are fun. <laughs> AVAX lab. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm sorry. Woodman. Yeah. I'm not sure who it is. But like I said, I'm sure if you 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 uh, go on eBay, you might be able to find it. Um, but okay, so the next guy, and then we'll get to the last. Oh no, we have two more. I'm sorry, I'm do actually doing a custom build on here. So I forgot I was doing the custom build. So you guys, at the end, I'll move all this stuff out of the way, and then we'll do a custom build at the end. So stay tuned for that. Let's see if you guys can actually uh, guess who the hell the custom build is. So. We'll do that. All right, so next up, we've got uh, Metal Alert here. Uh, as you can see, he's pretty gutted. I took all of his stuff off of him. And I tried to get this down as best as possible. Um, he does have a, a little bit different of a look from Lifeline. Lifeline is using a red suit. This is more of like an orangey style suit. Um, 
So with Metal Alert, like I said, this is another very simple, quick little custom that you can do for yourself if you want a another medic, um, because I feel like there's kind of a lack of medics in G.I. Joe. With all of these guys and girls that are fighting, we've got, what, Doc, his daughter, uh, Lifeline, and who else? That's it? That's about it. So, uh, now guaranteed, or, or granted, not guaranteed. What's wrong with me? I can't talk today. Uh, now, granted, you know, some Joes might have a background in that. You can make that up if you wanted to. But specific medics, we don't get a lot. So I was like, you know what? He needs a, he needs a modern update. So I took what I could off of the DTC figure, which is that's what this is from, the DTC line, direct to consumer. Uh, and, uh, I think it worked out pretty well. Here is my metal alert. Another simple, simplistic design, uh, went with the orange body. Um, it's the closest I could get to this without going with a red body. I think a red body would be too much. Um, and I wanted him to separate himself from Lifeline, which is wearing a red suit. So I think the orange suit is, is perfectly fine. A lot of this I used with just extra parts because a lot of parts that I wanted to use are not in stock right now. So I went with what I could go with here with um, Metal Alert, which was I reused the helmet from the DTC line. Um, the head is from Agent Mouse from the Retaliation line. Um, I just had an extra one lying around and I just... I was like, you know what, he, he looks like a younger guy in that DTC face sculpt. So, um, and it looks so, he looks so kind of joyful <laughs> in his face, kind of. So I was like, you know what, we'll go with that for a medic. I think it works pretty well. The uh, harness is different. Now, I was originally going to go with a white harness for him. But then I noticed that he had this belt from the DTC figure. And, uh, sorry, I'm trying to get this to focus and it's just not wanting to do so. I don't, it's wanting to focus on everything behind it. So we'll back them up again. Um, but this is actually the, the belt that he came with that was on top of his already sculpted white belt. So I was like, you know, what? we're just going to go with black with him instead of white for the harness. Um, he does have some red little pouches right here, so I gave him a, a white and a red pouch, which I thought worked well. I gave him a, um, a two-way radio right there. And then the kicker was, I was like, well, if I'm going to make this figure, he kind of has a unique little design right here with a little flip out. I want to say almost looks like a computer or like a laptop or something, uh, some sort of like medical analytic device. So I was like, you know what? We'll just go with it's an x-ray device. Let's just make it up. Why not? To see if someone's got a broken bone or internal bleeding or something. So I just took a Marauder Task Force GPS. I cut the handle off. I, I trimmed up the back so it sits flat now. And that's what I used for his little computer on his arm. So, it, it, like I said, simplistic little things that uh, just happened to pop up in my head. I just happened to see one sitting on the table while I was working on them. And I was like, oh, yeah, there we go. Perfect. Uh, just gave him a regular holster. Kept the, uh, the white going with the holsters. And then uh, orange pouches, orange pouches, black harness, black harness. And I think it looks... I actually like this design better than this design, which is uh, still a nice design. But uh, that, like I said, the helmet is from this figure. The gun, which was unique looking, so I kept the gun uh, from the DTC line with him. Uh, the sidearm is from the DTC line. The belt is from the DTC line. There is some sculpting on the belt. There's a knife. It looks like to be like a med pack pouch. And then another one right here. And then uh, because this belt is a little bit was a little bit large to fit around this kind of largely sculpted waist, I just kind of glued it right in the front right here. Um, I mean, you can glue it as many times as you want, different places. It's up to you. Uh, but I just glued it a little bit, very light glue in the front, and then now it's not going anywhere, as you can see. It's not flopping or 
moving really. So there's Metal Alert. Now I have another paramedic. So there you go with that. So those are all the goodies that I did recently. Move him over. Move him over. Move him over a little bit more. So they're starting to get annoyed. <laughs> all right. So last little quick custom update. Uh, this guy I've been kind of uh, throwing around ideas for. Um, I got to go back and kind of repaint him. Uh, I just kind of painted him up sloppily. And like I said, I'm going to fix it just because I wanted to see how it would look because a finished product is it's much easier to, to have a realization of how a figure is going to turn out if you just paint them up and it, everything looks good. But here's an all new custom character named uh, Talon. And uh, he is a Cobra paratrooper. Um, he does have the Cobra glider on his back. Right there. Um, it does connect to his legs, but it also, when you press his button, it pops up like so. His helmet just went flying, probably. But uh, I went this route with him just because I thought it was unique, and I'm really into paratroopers and gliders and stuff like that. I think it's just unique and, and cool looking. Uh, something different, you know? But um, so for the body, the body is simple. This is from the Retaliation. If you're wondering why his hands like that, it was because it was holding his, <laughs> it was holding his helmet. Uh, but this uh, body is from the Retaliation three pack uh, paratrooper, which is basically on the I want to say the sh shock trooper body. The head is a custom head sculpt that I purchased from eBay a long time ago. I want to say about three years ago. Um, but uh, the gun is actually from Marauder's Task Force. So there's that. And uh, the, oh, the tack vest or his flight vest is actually from the Cobra Air Trooper. Uh, and if you're wondering who the hell that is, it is, if I can find the body, I know they're around here somewhere. It is these guys. Are you in here, sir? Here we go. It's these guys on this body with these shitty ass knees. What the fuck? I don't know what the hell Hasbro was thinking with these knees. So, like, to get this figure, by the way, to stand up, he's got to, like, do this weird, like, forward shitting pose. I don't know. But these are dirt cheap. I bought a bunch of them because they come with uh, parachutes in the front. And I reuse, I repurpose those parachutes, but you can get these guys dirt cheap and uh, just gut them for all their stuff. Uh, I think I got like, what was it? I bought a, a lot of like five of them for like 15 bucks. So I was like, okay, yoink. And then I just kind of gutted their bodies because these knees are horse shit, dog shit, crap. These are just the, the shit, drizzling shits right here. I don't understand what they were thinking. You can't get his leg to go any forward, any more forward than that. So, yeah, this is hot garbage. Anyway, so I just took that off, and I was like, oh, okay, that vest fits perfectly. And then I used the ripcord, um, uh, little, 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 the ripcord harness from Renegades. And uh, there you go. You've got yourself, uh, I got myself a new character. Um, and then I gave him a helmet, a paratrooping helmet. Now, to do this, because I didn't want to ruin the custom paint on the head, I just went with, I actually put an extra head in there already. It's the head that actually came with the body. And then I used this extra helmet that I had left over from the 50th anniversary Ace, uh, Ace pilot figure. And once I take this off, like so, it's got a little sticky tack there, no big deal, just take that off. And then you seat this on here like so. Boom. That's his flight look. So there's Talon. He looks pretty awesome. You can take the helmet off and see the balaclava head underneath if you want to. But eh, eh, come on off. Get off. Come on. 
There we go. That's what it looks like, but we're just going to keep the helmet on. So there's his alternate head. I think he looks cool either way, but uh, I like to give my characters that are unique up their own face. I don't like them to just be faceless characters that have balaclavas. That's boring to me. Um, so I went with this and uh, gave him an alternate head, and I think it works out great. So let's take that off. Oh, and now his wings wanting to come up because I'm pressing too hard. There we go. Oh, oh, sorry, wings. So there we go with him. Let's get that sticky tack back on there. And we'll push his little head back on. Come on, little guy. You can put your little head on. There you go. There you go. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, there you go. I don't know. Yeah, Hall and Bricks, I don't know what they were thinking with those knees on that body. It, it's atrocious. So, there you go. <laughs> it is atrocious. So, there we go. There's Talon, my own new character for the Cobra rankings. Uh, let's see. Okay, so, bear with me a second. I'm going to get these guys out of the way and girl out of the way. And uh, we'll start the custom build. So, we'll do that. Or should I just do a separate video? Uh-oh, now I'm playing with you guys' emotions. All right, type one in the chat if you want to see the custom build now. Type two in the chat if you don't mind and you want to see it later. So, majority rules. One, one, one. One, one, whoa, whoa. Woodman. Roman Woodman really wants to see you. <laughs> 111,000, 11, 11, 11. Three? Oh, Zorpox. <laughs> so Zorpox wants the, the third option, which is turn the stream off right now. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> 1.5? Oh, boy. All right, so we'll do the custom build. All right, so let's get Frosty out of the way. Alert out of here. Just gonna put you down here, over there, down here, dear, over there. Man, my mouth is so dry. I'm gonna have to grab some water in a second. Or actually, my girlfriend made some tea. I might do that. Yeah, I'm a. I thanks, thanks guys. I'm glad you guys like this this custom. I'm really, really pleased with how he turned out. Like I said, I'm just going to. I kind of like that the a little bit of orange is showing through it kind of gives it a little bit more character even though it kind of looks like shit um it does give a little bit of character to the uh the rest of the design but uh yeah i'm really pleased with this this is i'm, I'm pretty happy with this so and the head sculpt really makes it i think he just he, he looks like a a badass so but yeah i'm really really pleased with that so you out of the way, bud. Yeah, I gotta go take a nap. Go take a nap now. Bye bye. Nap time for you. I still think I'm gonna go with this helmet. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Alright, so I'll write that goodbye. Goodbye. And, okay, we'll get Slither out of the way. Oh, oh, she's falling. Don't fall off your little throne there, lady. Be a little, little, little. Slither is actually a... Oh, there goes her gun. Slither is actually a villain for the Sweet 16. So if you're like, who is she? She's a Sweet 16 villain. Oh. Uh. All right, so we got a little bag here. We got a bag full of shit. What do we got in this bag full of shit? Sir Gideon Hubbard's brand. Was that what you wanted to hear, Zorpak? Sir Gideon. Okay, here's the, here's the thing about all my Mythic Legions. There's a reason why I haven't been doing Mythic Legions videos. I'm not really done collecting them. I would like to slow down collecting them because I don't have the budget for them, really. I don't know how much more 
of a budget I have for them in the future because they're expensive. Uh, but all my Mythic Legions are back in Buffalo. I left them there. So, but not to worry, I'm actually going back to Buffalo in next month. So I'm going to go visit some family and friends and such with my girlfriend, which is originally, she's originally from Buffalo too. Um, but, uh, so we're going to go back to Buffalo. I'll have them next month and, uh, I'll probably definitely, like I have a couple here that I purchased. Um, I'll definitely be doing those reviews, but, uh, anyway. So worry not. Sir Gideon Heaven's brand has not been showing himself because he's in Buffalo. He's on a journey. He's on a crusade in Buffalo. That is why. So I hope that answers your question, Mr. Zorpox of the Destroyer. Please don't destroy me. Um, yeah, Zorpox, I really haven't had a chance to do a edited review. I think I have like three I'm still editing. Um, I'm editing one for the Cobra Pit Trooper Commando, I mean. Um, I'm editing one for the Mythic Legions. I'm editing another, edit, editing another one for Joy Toy, a couple Joy Toy sets that I'm, I'm doing. Um, so it's just been that and then everything going on. It, it's just crazy. So, um, but here we go. We got some, we got some pieces here. We got pieces. We got some pieces here. What, what are these pieces doing? Uh, this is another easy custom build. Let me get some of these, making it obvious who the hell it is there, Anthony. <laughs> but uh, this is a very another like a very. Uh, you done talking over yourself, Anthony? Uh, this is another very simplistic build, but it does it does it does its job. God, I'm struggling today. All right. To rectify that, I'm gonna go get a glass of water. So I'm gonna take a two second break. And for those of you that are literal, it'll be a, a, a one minute break. Uh, but I will be right back in one second. So, not literally one second. <laughs> oh, that's good right there. Oh, that's good. Got to wet the palate. Mm-hmm. Ah. You're pouring your budget into Transformers lately? Me too. I'm still waiting for Omega Supreme to drop. I got them pre-ordered. I have to get that figure. I just, I have to get it. So, anyway, so we've got... A little backpacky here. Oh, a backpacky. We've got a head. Hi, head. What does everybody need? Head. What does everybody want? Head. Does anybody know that reference? Is anyone going to know who that is, that reference? I bet you Zorpox will know that reference. Okay, he already got it. <laughs> All right, Rich got it too. Good job. All right, so we got a tech, we got a uh, drop. Um, blah, 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 blah. A drop. What's wrong with me? Drop down holster. What does everybody love? Head. 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 You're guessing a dreadnought. Ooh, interesting. Uh, we're gonna repur I'm repurposing this uh, extra Zartan jacket I had. Oh, who could this be? <laughs> we got some jeans, and I swapped the boots out with uh, different boots. So that was what I did previously. And we got a white T-shirt. Oh. Who was that? Uh, who was that in the uh, mid two thousands? Was it Murphy Lee, the white tee? Oh, huh, hit my white tee. Who hit my white? I can't remember who that was. Maybe it was Murphy Lee. I can't remember. We got a big ass deagle. 
Oh shit, crap it's a We got a big ass deagle. Yeah. And one knee pad. Oh, only one? Oh my god, it's gonna be asymmetrical. Oh no. Alright, so like I said, this is a quick, easy build. I'm gonna do a snap a do. A pop. A pop a poo. A pop a poo, snap a do. Uh let me get him a display base first. So he can stand up. Okay. Give me one of these. Eh. There we go. See if it'll stick into this foot. Come on, you little turkey fart. Get on there. Turkey fart. Turkey smart. Okay. So next, we're gonna. What are we gonna do next? We're gonna. Oh, I gotta put the holster on. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I'll take that off there. All right. So let's take. Make it the. Uh, how do I do these again? Uh, you forget how to work, how to do stuff. Oh, good. See, it's a jump. Here, I'll just start making, I'll just keep making movie references and you guys let me know who it is. It's a jump to conclusions, Matt. Get it? Get it? Oh, yeah, we got it. <laughs> All right, take a this leg off too. Take a this leg off. Uh, that's how you do it. And then you put this on like so. Seems like an episode of The Sims. <laughs> Princess Bride. No. A jump to conclusions, Matt. Lumberg fucked her. There's a big, that's a big clue. Not Lumberg. Back up in your ass with a resurrection. There's another clue. Come on, guys. Should have got this by now. <sighs> Jeez. <sighs> Step Brothers. What? Not even close. The Dread Pirate Roberts? No. The Bellow Experiment? No! Come on! Where you guys been? Come on, now. Jam on. Come on, back up in your ass with a resurrection? Think Ghetto Boys. You guys remember Ghetto Boys? Come on. Somebody's got to know what this is. This reference. It's really not hard. Let me just say there's a scene with a printer. We got a case of the Mondays? Come on! There we go. No, not the office, but the office, just office space. Why is he so wiggly? What's going on? Why are you wiggly? There we go. Yes, it's office space. There we go. Holy Toledo. I'm starting to worry about you guys. <laughs> Alright, so we got we got this. We got the, who is this? Who, who's this? Who, who could this be? Who are you? Where why are you here? Who where'd you come from? Who is who are you? Uh uh. Ooh. I can't believe after I said Lumberg fucked her, you guys didn't get it. I know I'm not supposed to swear on the, on the YouTubes, but I don't care. <laughs> All right, we'll put his little jacket on because he's so fashionable. Who are you? Who is this? Smells like grape soda and donuts. You tried to be cheeky and you screwed up. Oh, Richard. Silly goof. All right, so we'll put his, put his deagle in here. His deagle. All right, we're almost there. I'm going to put his head on. Put your little head on your little dick. 
All right, so I know for what the hell is going on here? There we go. And, oh, okay. All right, we're playing mind games today, head. There we go. Is it all right? Let me ask this. Does anybody here, and this has not related to the figure, but I'm just asking this. Does anybody here use the app Shudder? S-H-U-D-D-E-R? Because it's pretty cool. It's all horror films all the time. It's amazing. His feet don't want to stay on the pegs because it's not meant for his feet. Monkey wrench? Nope. Is that Nick Cage? No, but I wish it was, Rich. <laughs> okay, let's put his little his little stuff away. No one's gonna know who this is. Unless you're from the Oh god. Dropping shit. Dropping stuff. Sorry. Oh boy, come on. Stay in there, you little turkey fart. Baloney fart. All right, so let's put his little backpack on. And I can't believe you guys haven't guessed this yet. I'm going to tell you right now, it's, it is... Well, I, I won't even say who that is. Okay, so he's done. He's all done. Let's get his little, his little mask in his hand. Get your little mask in your hand, you little turkey. Do you want to hold it or do you not want to hold it, sir? Here you go. Okay. Okay, here you go. There you go. He's done. Who is it? I think this is the longest time that you guys haven't gotten it. It's not in a cage. It's not Monkey Wrench. It's not a Dreadnought at all. He's a Joe. He has a Joseph, a G.I. Joseph. All right, you ready? I'll tell you guys in three, two, oh, oh, someone just guessed it. That's right. It's Stone Cold Steve Austin. No, I'm just kidding. It's Agent Faces. Remember from the early 2000s? Come on, guys. So here's my Agent Faces. He comes with a, I gave him a ski mask because I thought this was friggin' hilarious. And it does fit on his head. This is even cooler. We have Woodman for the win on that one with the clutch. I was just about to say who it was, too. So he does come. I gave him a little ski mask. I thought it was friggin' hilarious that there's a cloth ski mask that I found. <laughs> this is hilarious. So I gave him a ski mask, right? You don't know who Agent Face is? So basically, you know how the, he's basically the answer for uh, Zartan. He's just on the Joe side. His name is Agent Faces, and he, I gave him a, <laughs> I gave him a toupee <laughs> from the doctor. <laughs> that was pretty funny, and it does actually fit on his head. <laughs> so he does wear, he does use disguises and such. And I had to give him a short haircut head, so the the hair would kind of fit on his head. Um, yeah, he does he does undercover stuff, so he's basically like the the um, the answer to Zartan for the Joe side. So, um, but uh, I made him look like a special agent, you know. I like to pair him up with with Chuckles, and they they kind of have like a little buddy cop thing going on. Uh, now, the original design does have him with black hair and a black goatee. Um, I, unfortunately, did not have a black hair, black goatee, so I just gave him brown hair and brown goatee. I don't think it's really that big of a difference, to be honest with you. Um, I didn't feel like waiting. I think what Marauders, if you or make an order for Marauders right now, as of the date of this video, I think there's something like, they're backed up to like 19 days before they can pro uh, finish uh, shipping your order. So... Um, I just went with what I had, and this is what I had lying around. Um, it's a simple design. It's a it's my own thought process here. Um, I even gave him an extra mask, <laughs> um, and it was hollowed out. 
We gave him an extra mask, and this actually came with the original Agent Faces figure. Um, I gave him the Pursuit of Cobra Zartan jacket and uh, the bag, which I thought actually fit the purpose much better for this figure. Um, and these two pieces do fit in there, and I think it works really well. Um, it sits on his back perfectly. Um, you've got the extra mask right here in case he wants to go uh, covert ops and such. So I think it works out pretty well. I'm pretty pleased with it. Like I said, it's a simple, simple custom, simple design. Um, nothing too crazy here. But, uh, you know, it works for me. I think it's cool. Like I said, I was really bored. So I was like, oh, who can I make? Uh, I was like, oh, I'll make Agent Faces. Not a lot of people even know him. Uh, there's like actually a couple of different versions of Asian faces. There's uh, there's the I want to say Valor vs Venom version, uh, and then I think there's another version where he's in a Crimson Guard uniform. Um, so I was actually considering doing a version, uh, two different versions, one with him um, using uh, the Fred body, which would be this, because this one is quite simple. Uh, I might just purchase another one of these heads with the goatee, and then uh, you can actually pop this helmet off, and I'll replace the Fred head with his head, and then there you go. You've got yourself Crimson Guard undercover Asian faces. So there's a lot of different um, ideas and things you can go with um, as far as that's concerned. So there's actually two recipes for you if you want to do an Asian faces. You want to do a really cheap one with the Fred body, you can go that route. Uh, if you want to do an all original one or if you want to use this recipe, completely up to you. You know, um, I'm sure you guys can think up of your own recipe as well. But if you want to use that one, it's uh, it's there for you. So. Sound like RoboCop? <laughs> so he figured it was time to restart. Did I sound like uh, a uh, cyborg? I don't know why I sound like a cyborg. Maybe it's... Uh... Google screwing up my live stream. I'm thinking I should do uh, reviews like, and I'll talk like this from now on. So, hey guys, um, it's uh, ODC here. And um, today is uh, uh, going to be another custom action figure review day. Um, hopefully you guys can hear me pretty well. I'm trying to do some ASMR. A guy that would be so annoying it would drive me nuts. Someone was talking like that the whole time. I'm like, ah. ah, there we go. Oh, that's some good tea right there. But um, anyway, so there's some options for you. Um, there's a bunch of customs that that's what I've been working on the last like I want to say about two months. Um, when I work on a custom or a kit bash. I over tend to overthink things quite a bit, and I tend to um, I tend to dig as far as I can to try and think of something of a little bit of a different idea. Now, if you look up Agent Faces uh, customs, or if you look up any custom um, on Google, I'm sure plenty of people have different ideas and such. And I'm not trying to sit here and just toot my own horn, uh, which I'm not, because I'm not a braggadocious style person, but um, I just enjoy doing this because it's fun for me. And, you know, it, if I can help someone with a, with a design or, a, um, um, you know, an idea for a custom, then I, that makes me happy at the end of the day. So, uh, Where did I get the pullover mask? Uh, it actually came with the Agent Faces figure. Uh, so that's where I found the pullover mask. I think that's what kind of makes him a little bit special is that pullover cloth mask. Um, it does have like an elastic band on it, so it does stay tight on his head. But, uh, yeah, there you go. Let me get Fred out of here. Get out of here, Fred. Jeez. See if I can get something to prop him up on. I also have to do all these acid rain reviews, too. I haven't done an acid rain review in a... I don't think I've ever done one, actually. Now that I think about it. <laughs> <laughs> but, 
but uh, there you go. There's there's agent faces. Let's see if I can get some of this lighting to fix itself. There we go. Not so washed out. Uh, yeah, it, it, the cloth one just came with agent faces. Um, I do have a couple other quick customs that I'm going that I'm working on. Uh, one is really going to be a process, I think. Actually, I shouldn't even be talking about these because I, I think I'm going to do separate videos on each one. So, But there's some ideas. Like I said, I'm going to finish up my, my uh, Joy Toy figure reviews. I'm finishing up the Mythic Legions one. Uh, I'm going to try and get that done tomorrow uh, as far as the editing process gets done. And then I'll see how much I nitpick the shit out of it before I upload it. Um, <laughs> But uh, do you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, anything like that before I take off? Oh, that's right. Mr. Dog um, 122, thank you for that. I forgot about Stretcher. I was actually thinking, I I was actually thinking of uh, making a custom of Stretcher. Uh, we'll see how that goes. But uh, I would probably do my own version with him. Um, but yeah, that's. I'm glad you brought him up. Thank you very much. Because I was trying to think of how many medics we actually have. So I think it's only like around four or five medics, which is on the lower side of things. I, to me, I would want a medic with each little fire team I set out. Uh, maybe that's too many medics though. But uh, what uh, Mythic Legions figure review will I be doing? Um, I will be doing, where is he? He's in fleas over here. Oh, God, don't knock that over. Oh, please, God. I will be doing... Hold on a minute. Ah! If my, and if my uh, G.I. Joe figure that I did order ever shows up, I'll be doing a G.I. Joe figure review also. Um, hold on one second. I'll tell you what Joy Toy figures I'm doing. In a second. Eh, where are you? I'm in here. So much stuff. Shit everywhere. There's shit everywhere. Not actual poop, but toy shit. Alright, so I'm going to be doing, because I forgot his name and I can't remember names. I'm terrible with names. I'm better with faces. Um, oh boy. How do I even pronounce this name? <laughs> I'm terrible. I'm so bad with, with names and, and reading. Archmedes? Ar Argamedes? Cyclops. Well, there is the review I'll be doing. Um, I've already done the other ogre and, uh, or the other ogre figure reviews. So if you want to go check that out um, in the past videos, I did that entire wave, I believe. So you can go back and check that out if you want to. Um, I do miss having all my Mythic Legions here, which was, they're not here right now, which is annoying, but, uh, and haven't been here. But, um, the Joy Toy figure reviews, I'll be doing the entire PLA Marine Corps 3-pack. Um, I actually looked up actual PLA Marines, and they don't look anything like these, so I'm just going to assume that they are actually a different special forces team that's that's what i'm going to think up in my head because the, the greatest thing about um joy toy is that none of these guys have um actual well i think they, they're coming out with some comics with them but i think they're all in uh mandarin and i don't i don't read mandarin so um i'd like to think up of my own scenarios for these guys and uh I like to think of them as like a special forces team, but I'll be doing that review. Um, the other team, I don't want to reveal yet who it is because I don't think I even showed you who that is, but I also have to work on the SWAT team, the, the Joy Toy SWAT team with uh, the Bruce Willis figure, which I, I just call him Bruce Willis just because he's got a bald head. It's, it's the only reason why. <laughs> But uh, I do have some Joy Toy figures on the way as well, some, some new, new teams. So um, It's weird that he didn't come with any sort of hammer despite him being a blacksmith. Yeah, you know, that's kind of the crux of some Mythic Legions figures. Um, 
they don't come with what you think they should come with because they have to reuse a lot of parts because once they have a new mold, which a lot of these are just new molds, new tooling, um, they kind of spread that out and reuse a lot of stuff. Like this whole body is reused from the um, the Ogre um, Orc um, and the Troop Builder and the other Berserker. So they all use the same body and almost the same. Uh, there's some differences in the cod pieces and I think some of the chests pieces but uh for the most part they have to reuse a lot of stuff um i thought he was unique because i wanted a uh, cyclops in an ogre body so i decided i was like i ha I, I really got to get him um and i like his story you know it's pretty cool that he is a blacksmith he's, he's a baddie he's on the black he's a but he's a blacksmith and it's pretty cool that he's kind of like the weapons maker for them so pretty cool stuff nice little read up i love the lore of mythic legions I think their their prices are getting, you know, if you don't pre-order, then you're screwed. Um, unfortunately, I was not uh, financially stable enough to pre-order most of the um, Arthier wave or Athier. Wow, however the hell you pronounce it. Um, but, uh, so I might have to pick some of those up on the secondary market or Big Bad Toy Store. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, there's, uh, there's a lot on my plate as far as life goes in general. Uh, I'm also traveling next month, so I'm going to try and get these done. I'm going to try and get a Joy Toy review done tomorrow. I'm going to really try hard to do it tomorrow. Um, the other half of that battle is motivation, you know, trying to stay motivated and, and, and do the reviews, you know. It gets tough once you get uh, overwhelmed with life in general. you got 10,000 things to do in the house and then, you know, four ducks, or two ducks, four dogs, and, and two children living in the house. And, uh, you know, I like to hang out with my girlfriend, so. Uh, you and student... Still meeting up this year, virus willing. Strident, uh, me and Strident, uh, there's something in the works. I'm not going to say what it is because I don't want to jinx anything, but there's something in the works with, with he and I. Um, you know, we're, he and I are like best friends, so well, I talk to him normally, every almost like every day. So, um, But uh, as far as hanging out, getting together physically around each other, um, we have some plans, but I didn't, uh, I don't want to reveal it just yet because I don't want to jinx anything or I don't want to say that, you know, we're doing something and, you know, plans change because that happens in life. Plans change, things change, no big deal. But before the end of the year, I would definitely probably either he's going to visit me or I'm going to visit him or something's going to happen. So, but You got the, oh, Woodman got the Night Ops Humvee. Ooh, that's an expensive one. I think the thing goes for like 100 bucks on its own. Definitely a hidden gem. So, but, uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it. We got Agent Faces here. He's all set and wrapped up. Gash, you've been so quiet, bud. Um, oh, and I am on Ghost Recon Wildlands. My PS4 is all set up again. Uh, I had a hiccup with like a billing issue for some reason. They suspended my account because they tried to take money out of. I got a new debit card and they tried to take it out of my debit card when, with my old debit card. I don't know what the hell happened. But anyway, this suspended my account. It's not a big deal. I just paid the. What was it? The ten dollars I owed or whatever. But uh, I am on PS4. If uh, you guys ever see me um, playing Wildlands or if you, you know, you have friended me. Um, be sure to just send me a request. Don't be afraid to. I'm, I, I love playing with, uh, playing games with uh, all of you. So be sure to do that. Uh, yeah, I'm already subbed to Woodman's Reviews. I'm just, I haven't been on YouTube that much. It, like, uh, what was it? I think the last review I saw of anyone was Strident's review about a month ago when he did the... 
who was that? The Blue Falcon, which is the worst name ever for someone in the military. A buddy fucker. Um, the Blue Falcon review he did. Uh, so, I think that's the last review I saw. That was about a month ago. So, I apologize, but I'll definitely check out Woodman's channel. I've seen it before. Um, Hall and Bricks used to upload. I'm not sure if he still does. But, uh, yeah, um, I just like to call him Blue Jay is what I like to call him. Just because it, it just makes more sense. I think it sounds better, too. But I call him Blue Jay. But, yeah, he's a really good figure. I mean, that whole that whole new buck, once they, once they got that new body buck for them, I'll just bring in one for an example. Move faces out of the way. Oop, there goes this mask. All right, let's bring in my favorite. I'll bring in my favorite. Once they introduced this body and fixed a lot of the issues that... Uh, Once they fixed a lot of the issues that the with the paint apps and some of the QC issues that they had or in the early earliest of uh, last year, um, it's been getting exponentially better. Uh, I love. I, I've actually heard people complain about this that they don't like that we're getting PLA teams and they should be bad guys and not good guys. I'm like, why? Just because. A fucking military team is from another country. They have to be bad guys because they're not from the U.S. It's, I just hate the thought process here. It's like no imagination from some people. I don't get it. Anyway, so I personally, I like to think that Joy Toy is an international team. Um, that's what I like to think. Now, just because a, you know somebody's from a different country doesn't mean they're a bad person or anything like that. Like. I, don't, I just don't get the thought process from some people sometimes. Oh, they're, they're from China. They're, they're bad guys. They're from Russia. They got to be bad. No. <laughs> Calm down. Jesus Christ. Anyway, so um, I like to think of my team as an international team, and everyone's got a, uh, um, a representative from their country on the team. And I want more of that. I want more variety from different countries uh, we got a bunch of U.S. Uh, military teams, and that's great and all, but it, that gets fucking boring quick. Um, and uh, I want to see more futuristic Titanfall-esque designs, that, and we're getting that with the upcoming waves, which is great. But I like to see those, those, uh, those designs come out. I, I like to see more imaginative, more imaginative designs um, than just kind of real world stuff that we've already seen and we already know and you know, blah, it's boring. Um, it's cool to have those and I have some of them, but you know, it's like, yeah, let's switch it up a little bit here. So I like to think of these guys as special forces. These are like the bee's knees for the PLAs. Um, and uh, this is actually the guy that I have representing the PLAs, so. Um, I actually have a couple representatives from PLA on the team. The Russian three pack is only forty bucks. That's because the Russian three pack is a was one of the I think it was the second wave of Joy Toy figures. Um, they're essentially just repaints of the cyborgs. Um, I think it was what was it. Uh, it's on the, using the same body as uh, Ramaz and using the same body as Andre uh, from the, uh, what was it, the South African wave, uh, which is extremely hard to find. I still would like to find the Andre, that Andre figure, but he's hard to find. And uh, he's, if you do find him, he's like 100 bucks or something stupid like that. So I'm just like, no, nah, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good on that. Um, but, uh, it would be cool to get him eventually for a decent price. Um, but yeah, that, that Russian three pack is a nice re-release, uh, and a different paint echo. I actually like that paint echo better. I think the price point on him is fantastic, but, uh, um, 
And I heard that the pain apps, because I think Strident got it, and we were talking about it, and I was like, oh, how are the pain apps on it? And he said they're top-notch. They fixed them. Uh, I think they must have switched paints because I have had no paint issues with any figures except for that Cyborg Wave, the th the Cyborg 3-pack. Uh, but now that they re-released them in a new paint deco and they look more Spetsnazi-ish, that's not a word, I just made that up. They look more like Spetsnaz. Um, I might actually consider getting that wave. So and and that you can't beat the price point of forty. Even even if you pay fifty bucks, like that's that's nothing as far as a modern, you know, joy toy figure with all the articulation, range of motion, paint detail. I mean, the paint detail is just you can't beat it. I mean, even here's a Marauders figure, and they're fantastic on their own right, but they don't they don't hold up to this like that's insane detail and it's the right amount of detail like you look at a uh an acid rain figure and that's why i use the acid rain guys as like my bad guys because the acid rain figures to me kind of look like they're alien-esque because of the way that their their bodies are set up these guys look like they're human beings the acid rain ones look too gangly and disproportionate a little bit and they look more alien-esque so those are what i have my joy toy figures battle are the acid rain figures so um, that's why i picked up uh, more i've been picking up more and more acid rain figures so. and that's my little universe for the joy toy figures uh boris was a bummer yeah i agree uh i think i picked up boris before i left for buffalo i think i did that in a uh unboxing video or something like that or a haul video or whatever uh but I fixed the arm. He's now... Wait. You, wait sorry. Sorry, Woodman. Boris was a bummer. But after I fixed the arm, he's one of my faves. Yeah, that's the that's the uh, underlying issue is that uh, the paint apps with the cyborg arms. Um, and uh, Boris was one of them. There's three of them. I can't remember the, the other two names. Uh, it was Boris and somebody else. But uh, I think I picked up the other guy. I think he had Boris had the right arm that has cyborg arm, and then the other guy had a left arm, and I think I got him. And he even had paint rubbish rubbage issues, so um, you know I had to fix that. Peter, that's 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 the one I got. But I had issues with Peter's arm, like in the the, uh, the inside of his hand, like right here. I'll just show you with the pointer, not my fat finger. The inside of this hand, where you would put the gun, it started chipping off right there. So I was like, okay, had about enough of that. Um, actually, I think it was on the left arm because Peter's got the left arm that's a cyborg. But I would love to be able to get into Vitruvian Hacks figures. I love Vitruvian Hacks and I love Zombie Labs figures. Um, or it's just Zombie Lab figures, but uh, um, I love those. I love them both. I think zombie, zombie lab figures are a little overpriced. I think they should be around the $20 price point because uh, they come with a lot less than Vitruvian hacks do, and they actually act, act, they actually are asking more for those figures. Uh, some of them don't even come with weapons, and I'm like, what the hell? Why am I paying $32 for a figure with no weapons? What the fuck was that about? Uh, the magnet stuck. I don't like... I, that's the other thing, Woodman. I don't like magnets on figures like they just never work out they lose their polarity over time and i'm just not a big fan of magnets so that's a personal preference thing i know a lot of people like them and good great good job good for you um but i personally don't like magnets and they just don't look natural uh on the figure i prefer a clip of some sort whether it's a c clip or even one of these clips that they the uh, pla guys or the joy toy figures use uh, some of these clips don't work off too well. <laughs> I kind of wish they would uh, update their clip, their clips, so they would uh, stay a little bit better. But uh, yeah, Zombie Labs is no more. Vitruvian Hacks, aka Boss Fight, bought the rights. Yeah, I noticed that. So maybe the uh, the prices will go down. Uh, I did notice that uh, Zombie Lab was purchased by Boss Fight. So it's a good thing, and now you can buy Zombie Lab figures from boss fight and uh you know it, it's only better because i love boss fight studios 
They've come up with some amazing head sculpts. They did all the FSS figure head sculpts. Well, the majority of the good ones. Um, and they do a pretty good job overall. Um, that Tiger Force uh, Outback head was fantastic. It was a nice update from that crappy 25th anniversary head, which I'm not a really big fan of for Outback. I prefer the FSS head sculpt. I think it's much better. Um, Sectars figures from Zeta, Zeta Toys, yeah, three and three quarter inch. Have magnets in the feet, hidden and work well. Oh, wait, like the magnets are connecting the feet to the ankle? Or they have magnets at the bottom of their feet? Clarify that, Woodman, because I'm confused. It's at the they're at the bottom of the feet. What for though? What's the purpose of that? Do they have like a display stand that's magnetic? I'm assuming that it's probably for a display stand. That doesn't bother me as long as the magnets don't get in the way. Oh yeah, it's help to help them display. Okay. I mean, that's fine. I don't mind that. I mean, Kotobukiya has been doing that for years with their statues. So I don't mind that. Um, um, as long as it doesn't throw off the stance of the figure. It doesn't bother me, really. But, uh, but yeah. So these three guys are going to be next. And I really, really like these this three pack a lot if you want some variety you want some good variety pick up this three pack it's a really good looking three pack I'd like to get some GSG9 and I'm sure that would make Gaz really happy but I would definitely like to get some GSG9 figures next uh, from Joy Toy that would be amazing um, Special Forces absolutely that's what uh, these guys are these are like the top tier they're like Delta Squad for PLA. So. And they just, they look amazing. So. But this will be the next Joy Toy figure review. Yeah, I mean, they all look fantastic. He's actually my favorite. I like his head sculpt the best. I think he's got the best head sculpt. Um, they all have great head sculpts, but um, personally, I think he's got the best. So, I don't know. I might swap his head with that one. I don't know. But I like them all, personally. But you know me. I was. Uh, but I like the uniqueness of his sniper rifle, though. That looks great. The bullpup. They don't get too many bullpup sniper designs. Uh, it's few and far between that we get those. So... Nice to see it. Um, these other two guns are exactly the same. I'm going to have to do some research on what type of guns those are. They look almost like a FAMAS slash PDR had a child, and that would be the product. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, it looks pretty awesome, though, even if it's not based on a real gun, which it doesn't need to be. Um, I like concept guns i think they look great um it's it shows more imagination that way but uh but yeah i think that's gonna do it i'm hitting 90 past 90 minutes holy shit i was expecting this to be a 60 minute video <laughs> yeah ksk absolutely gs9 um or gsg9 i'm sorry but uh yeah, so that would be fantastic. Um, thanks, everybody, for hanging out. Like I said, expect this review to be the next review. Um, I'm still working on the Mythic Legions review. That's almost done, uh, and a few others. So, um, But, uh, yeah, thanks, everybody, for hanging out today. Uh, you guys are always awesome. And uh, thanks for all the support. Thank you to Eric T., Dem Guts, uh, Rich, as always. Uh, Woodman, Zorpox, Holland Bricks, Gaz, uh, uh, Brenda, thank you. 
Terry, as always, buddy. Uh, Brent, Brent Richards, thank you, bud, for popping in, hanging out. Appreciate it. I'm sorry if I didn't get to anybody's comments. I, you know, it's like a pet peeve of mine when, you know, I, I want someone to <laughs> answer a specific question or comment and they miss it. So I'm, I'm trying to go through the comments and maybe answer that. Uh, Eric T, thanks for popping in. Uh, Eric T says he passed on the World War II stuff, but he's waiting for the Vietnam Kickstarter. Me too. You know, I'm probably going to need some pieces from the Vietnam stuff. Uh, do, 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 do. Trying to see if I didn't name, if I didn't say your name, I apologize, but uh, but thanks anyway. Uh, J Dioramas, J Dioramas. Thanks for popping in, buddy. I appreciate it. I'd also like to give uh, Joey Campbell a shout out, Phoenix Richardson a shout out, and <laughs> he was getting all the uh, <laughs> the Office Space references. How many pieces of flair are you going to put on this vest? Um, Mike Lancaster, thanks for popping in, buddy. Appreciate it. Uh, Sean Lewis, thanks for popping in. Mr. Dog, 122, thank you for uh, reminding me of Stretcher, and thanks for popping in. Thanks for hanging out, buddy. Um, Trent's five, thanks for popping in, bud. That might be it. I think that's it. But, um, yeah, thank you all for hanging out with me. I think we had about 20, 30 people in here at one point, uh, which is amazing. Wow. I think that's that might be the most I've ever had in here all at once. So um, thank you, everyone, for hanging out. Like I said, uh, expect a edited review of the PLA team. I can't wait for that. And uh, thanks for hanging out. This was just nice to sit back, chill talk to you all, communicate, spend some time together, hold hands. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> but uh, this is a lot of fun, and I uh, hope you guys have a great weekend. Be safe, enjoy yourselves, enjoy your loved ones, and uh, try not to get sick. Please wear your masks if you can. Uh, wear, wear your balaclavas if you need to, you know. <laughs> um, take a note from this guy right here. Uh, but, uh, yeah, be safe and, uh, I will see you all on the flip side.